Hold on. Do you guys even recognize me with the top knot? Like, it's like, where did my hair go? This is crazy. I don't even know who I am with this top knot. Hey, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to you. Today, I want to chat about retaining moisture. It is that time of year. The colder months are just rolling on in. I'll be sharing my number one top moisture intensive products that you are going to need, as well as a few little tips that I love to do myself in order to make sure that my curls are going to stay nice and popping. So so if you are like me and you are thinking about just keeping your curls out this fall and winter, then I'm going to show you exactly how you can care for them the right way so they ain't going to dry out in the cold weather. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first, let's talk products. All right, you got to make sure that you are switching to your moisture intensive products towards the ending of the year. I mean, it's cold outside and your curls are probably just gonna need a little bit of extra love. So moisture, 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 that is gonna be your best friend and that's really what's gonna help you combat any kind of negative impact from the harsher, like more cold environment outside. So I do have a couple of my favorites to share with you. These are seriously like moisture packed. So first up, let's talk cleansers. This is the one and only cleanser that I'm gonna mention in this video because it is the most moisturizing, beautiful, but deeply cleansing hair wash ever. It is an actual shampoo, sulfate free, y'all already know, but it is like, I don't know, it's magic. It suds like a shampoo, a like a gentle shampoo though, the suds like aren't very intense. But at the same time, it just, it still has that gooeyness of a co-wash. I just think this is absolutely magical. So this is the hair wash by Bread Beauty Supply. Black owned, female owned, and it's just the bomb.com. I mean, also the packaging though. Just A1. Everything about this is so great. So this is gonna be my number one cleanser that I'm reaching for for the entire probably rest of my life even through the summer because i just i love this so much but yes it is extremely moisture intensive it actually has argan oil and aloe vera in here so you know that this is just it's so good i will go ahead and make sure i link all the products that i mentioned below in the description box as usual so y'all can go ahead and shop to your heart's content so next let's talk about treatments i have three moisture intensive treatments right here in front of me so first Y'all have heard me mention this numerous times. So this is the Curl Smith Double Cream Deep Quencher. It's insane moisture, insane. And you wanna know how you kinda know that? If you get a product, right? And you can hold it upside down like this. She's thick and she's moisturizing, all right? I love this. This just absolutely glides through your curls. And you guys by now already know how I feel about Curl Smith. I love that brand. I love everything that they're about. And I love the fact that they put so much effort into making sure that the ingredients are just top notch for curly girls, okay? So this is delicious. It also smells really good. Let me, I'm not the best at describing smells, but it just, I know I'm gonna say, oh, it smells sweet. And then you're gonna be like, well, what the hell does that even mean? But it just smells sweet. The next treatment that I did wanna suggest for you guys is this one, and this is kind of a new addition, but oh my gosh, it's really good. So this is by Gisu, and it is their honey infused hair mask. Again, the mask test, okay? This is like full to the brim, but she's not moving anywhere because she's thick. This is Moisture City, so good. Again, just very buttery and just smooths into your curls. It's great and it is honey infused, so you know that moisture is gonna be a little next level. I love it and also love the packaging. You can actually grab this from Sephora and again, like I said, everything's gonna be linked in the description box for you guys below. So the third and final treatment that I wanted to suggest for intense moisture is this one by Not Your Mother's. It's called the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. Honestly, this is so good. The first time that I ever used this, I was like beyond impressed. I don't know why I wasn't really expecting it to be, you know, I was expecting it to be good, but I wasn't expecting to have my mind blown. And I feel like that's exactly what happened when I used this. Again, she's thick, she's thick, she's moisturizing. Mm, and this smells good. This smells like a little bit of apple. This definitely smells exactly what you think apple and blossom mixed together would smell like. It's so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally almost forgot to include 
my bread beauty mask this is ultimate moisture thick city moisture intensive beautiful Ooh, you guys have seen me do this in a video before so 10 out of 10 recommend i mean i just love bread beauty supply in general everything they do is top notch i literally can't even believe that i almost forgot this can't forget this can't forget this this is this is good. So it's four, okay? Four masks from here that you can choose from. You can honestly not go wrong with any of them. They all give me the same kind of impact that I need, which is intense moisture. They're just juicy, they're thick, and they just, mm, mm. All right, so now on to styling products. I have three leave-in conditioners as well that I really wanted to suggest. So first we got Curl Smith again. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Curl Smith just, it's so good. It makes me very, very happy. So this is the Curl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. So good. It's just, again, moisture. This is not gonna define your curls on its own. It's literally just going to give it moisture, which is exactly what we need. Again, coming through with the balm ingredients, smashed avocado, apricot, aloe vera, olive oil, rosemary oil. It's great, it's moisturizing, and look, let me just show you guys what the consistency is like. It is not super thick, and that's actually what I like about it. So for a moisture treatment, I love the thickness, I love the heaviness, the consistency, it's great. But for a styling product like even conditioner, I don't want the thickness. Give me the moisture without the thick consistency. And this is exactly what I get from this leave-in conditioner. You can see here, it's just, it's creamy and it packs a punch. It has the moisture there, but it is not gonna be super thick and it's not gonna weigh down your curls either. Next, we gotta talk about a new recent fave as well. This is the Maui Moisture Combing Cream. Y'all, this is, this is another product that kind of took me by surprise. I tried it on a whim randomly. I think I was like trying out a random hairstyle and I was like, oh yeah, let me try this. I got this as a PR package, so let me give it a try super super impressed and ever since then honestly this has kind of been my go-to leave-in conditioner for my wash and goes it's been that good it mainly has shea moisture in there with some coconut oil and macadamia oil as well it's just so good it also smells really good y'all know all maui moisture products smell amazing and then the last but certainly not least leave-in conditioner is this one by cara care this is from their curlescence line and it's just called their moisturizing leave-in conditioner. You guys heard me rave about this like a while back and I still, I still love it. I mean, I've been testing others, but still love this to pieces. So good. And again, like look, I could not turn this upside down because it would flop out because it's not super thick. And again, that's what we want. That's what we need, or at least me personally. I will say out of the three of these, I think this one is probably the most lightweight in consistency. They all pack the right amount of moisture for me, but in terms of consistency, I think this one is definitely a little bit more lightweight. In order, I would say lightest, medium lightest, and then like not as light as this one. Cause I'm not even gonna say thick, cause it's really not that thick, but you know, just in comparison with the others, I would say this one is definitely like a little bit, a little bit thicker than the other ones, but not thick. So speaking of styling products, let's also get into some gels. These two gels that I'm about to mention, I haven't had enough time to really play around with them, but I still wanted to mention them in here because they're cream gels. And I think that is something that I'm really gonna be testing over the next couple of months to see if it works good for my curls and if it helps to add additional moisture for my curls during the colder months. So first here I have this moisturizing curl defining gel by Adjua. Let me open it up and show you exactly what a cream gel is all about. I really think it's something kind of innovative happening. Like I'm saying, a number of curly hair brands come out with them, so I'm really, really curious and I really wanna give them like a good shot. All right, that this is the essence of a cream gel right here. Y'all see that jiggle? But do you also see the fact that it is creamy at the same time? It's exactly as it says it is. It's a cream gel, it's a hybrid. So when you rub it together, it's that creamy jelly kind of texture it's just ooh, it's something real different for me I've tried this once but you know I just I think that I need a little bit more time with the cream gel to really figure out exactly how it's gonna work you know so you guys can actually stay tuned for some more videos coming up with 
both of these gels most likely because y'all know I'll keep you updated as I'm exploring the cream gels myself. So this second one, I'm really excited to introduce to you guys because this is actually a brand new Curly Girl brand. Like their entire brand is focused on creating products that are Curly Girl friendly and y'all know, I love to see that, that's what I live for. So the brand name is called Imbue and this is their Curl Empowering Cream Gel. So same kind of thing, let me show you the consistency. Boom, you see that? It's like a creamy jelly, hence cream gel. Like it's really, really cool. So once again, disclaimer, haven't actually really gone to properly test either of these yet, but I do think that cream gels in general really might be the move for winter. The whole point of a cream gel is really to be more moisturizing. So that's why I wanted to kind of mention that in this video. I'll keep you guys updated on how the cream gels work for me. So those are my current favorite products for retaining moisture in the winter, but you're gonna need a little bit more than just a few good products to keep your hair alive. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, like some things that I like to do in the colder months that will really keep my hair together, happy, and healthy. So this one may sound a little bit obvious, but <laughs> I know there's a lot of you that do this. Don't go outside with your hair wet. That's not good, especially if you live in like New York, Canada, like in the places where it's truly cold. I wanna encourage you guys to plan ahead. If you are, I know I sound like a mom right now, but please plan ahead. I, okay, I have a confession. I have done this before. <laughs> when I first went to boarding school here in North Georgia, actually, this is years ago, okay, so don't, you know, don't come for me. This is years and years and years ago before I even went natural. But I used to still wet my hair all the time and kind of just, you know, go on the fly, do whatever I want. And yeah, I wet my hair and went right outside. This was my, I'm a Caribbean girl, okay? This is my first time ever experiencing like a winter, like a true, true winter. And I went outside and my hair straight up froze, y'all. Like froze to the point where I had to go inside the cafeteria and try and wet it again so it wouldn't look so frozen. It was legitimately frozen solid, like ice. Just for me walking from my dorm to the cafeteria. It was a hot mess express. And that is just not good, especially for curly hair. I feel like curly hair is a little bit more sensitive. It's more prone to getting dry quicker in that is just, it's not a good situation to be in. So definitely plan your wash and goes ahead of time. And also maybe this time of year, maybe the time for you to try other styling techniques. So instead of doing wash and goes, maybe try a twist out, let it dry overnight, take out the twist in the day, and then boom, you're good to go and you don't have to go outside with wet hair. I personally, I'm gonna be trying twist out soon. I wanna give it a try and see what it's like and see if this really can be like my go-to thing for the winter so y'all can stay tuned for that too. But yeah, bottom line, don't expose your wet curls to the freezing cold outside. Not only is it good for your hair, but it's gonna be good for your health too. The next thing I do is kind of like what I like to call fake protective styling. I know the whole gist of protective styling means to kind of put your hair away and just let it rest and not like be bothered with for like at least, I would say at least two weeks. I feel like that's the minimum amount of time for like a real protective style. So me, I I just can't do the protective styling. I just, I can't, I've tried it. I got box braids. I literally sat down for like six to eight hours. I can't even remember, but it was a long time. Took a few cute photos and literally took them out a week later because I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with it. My scalp couldn't handle it. I missed my curls. I just, I couldn't do it. But what I do like to do though is my own little fake protective style. So you guys have probably seen my video, my quarantine protective styling where I was doing those two twists down my head. I love to do this. And you know what? I'll literally just have it in for maybe 24 hours or maybe 48 hours if I'm really stretching it. I really kind of use it as a moisture surge for my hair. I will just go in with pure moisture products. And honestly, that has made all the difference in my curls. Like whenever it just needs that break, that gives it exactly what it needs. My wash and go after my twists are always fire. So I wanted to encourage you guys, maybe if your hair needs a break, if it's not feeling right, if it's feeling a little off, it might just need like a little two days off. You don't have to commit to the whole two to four week like hardcore protective styling. 
I promise you just by surging your hair with a little bit of moisture just for maybe one to two days could really really make a difference so that's something that you can consider as well I do have a full more in-depth tutorial on how I do my twist so I will link that up here the only difference is now I'm just using strictly moisture products instead of actually including any hold products just because I know I don't necessarily need these twists to look super good I don't need them to last super long I just need the moisture to be in my hair all right and so for my very last tip I want to encourage you guys to use scarves I know scarves are kind of more of a thing in spring and summer it's like fun and cute and girly that time of year but don't put them down just yet okay you can use them in fall and winter I especially like this leopard one because I feel like this is like a print for year round honey you can wear this whenever you're ready literally throw it on for a fashion statement or just to protect your edges. Nobody needs to know, and you're just, you're gonna look good doing it. It's great. I found this at ASOS, and they have a ton. Make sure you're going for the ones that have a silky or satiny material, because those are the materials that aren't gonna dry out your hair, and also won't encourage breakage either. So I will go ahead and link this particular one below, as well as a few others that I saw that were really cute. So basically, this is exactly how you're gonna be retaining all the moisture all fall and winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it super useful. If you have any additional questions or if you have some tips of your own, go ahead and comment them below, all right? I'd love to see. Don't forget to also give your girl a little thumbs up before you leave. And if you are new, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.